Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use some bullet bourbon to make the final word. But first, this. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, the final word is a riff on the last word, and what I'll do is I'll put a link to that up here. Now, it was created by Phil Ward during his tenure at Death & Co. in 2007. Now, Death & Co. is a speakeasy-style cocktail bar in New York. So how is this different? Now, Phil feels that every cocktail, especially successful ones, are templates for other cocktails. So he put some rye whiskey in instead of the gin, and he took the lime juice, threw it out, and put some lemon juice in to balance it all out. And here we are. All right, so let's get into making the final ward. Okay, so what we need here is our mixing glass. And I'm using my uh, shaking glass for that. This is a one to one to one to one cocktail. So we're gonna use one ounce or 30 mils of each of our ingredients here. So the first thing we're gonna use is our Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. This is a, uh, a sweet liqueur, which will give us some of our, the sweetness of this cocktail. That way we don't have to add any uh, simple syrups. Of course, the next thing we need is a little bit of green chartreuse. Now, green chartreuse is made in the French Alps, and it is made by monks with 130 different herbs. And this ha is naturally colored green, and it actually has a high liquor count, which is uh, 55%. The next piece that we need is some bourbon. In this case, we're using a bullet bourbon. This is a rye-based bourbon. It's 45% alcohol, and I think it works really, really well in this cocktail. Now, if you think we should use a different type of bourbon, please leave a comment down below and let us now know what you would use. And of course, the last thing that I need is a little bit of lemon juice. Now again, because it's a one-to-one, -one, we're gonna use one ounce. Now, always use a little bit of fresh lemon juice if you can, and just because, in my opinion, you get better flavoring. It's fresh, it's not adulterated in any way. So, what we're gonna grab is our tin, and we're gonna use a little bit of ice. And we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 12 seconds. So we're going to serve this in a coupe glass, beautiful, clean, and we're going to fine strain this. So we'll be double straining this using, of course, our Hawthorne strainer and our fine strainer. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful in color. Let's see how it smells. It smells really good. I can just get a hint of the green chartreuse and a little bit of lemon. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually really good. You can taste the green chartreuse, a little bit of the lemon juice. There's, that's where you get some of the tartness. It's nicely balanced. That is really good. I can see uh, why Phil Ward made it this way. If you think I should make it differently, leave a comment down below. Uh, but if this is your first time here, I'm going to explain what I normally do, of course, is I put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you get notified. But if you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. So he put some rye whiskey in instead of gin and swapped the lime juice for lemon juice. I'm going to use some of this green chartreuse to make the final word. It's final word. Hit stop. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. Mm. We gotta do this again because I screwed up when I was filming. It is one ounce or 30 milliliters of a straight bourbon. Now, some restaurants, uh, restaurants, 